And what do you think? Did they go good? It went great. Yeah. They both look great to me. They trained really well. Very happy with the way they train them. Okay. And can you talk about a little bit about the connection between you and Shane Sellers and Susan Moulton? How special that is? And did you know Susan as long as you've known Shane? No, I know Shane longer, actually. Okay. But uh, no, they're wonderful people. Shane um, started riding with me in Chicago when he came from St. Uh, St. Louis, I guess. And I had a bunch of horses, so we put him to work. E Banks got his book as a, as a jockey, and uh, we started a relationship back then. And we started winning races and became Shane Zellers. And approximately how long have you known Susan? Know, Susan, whatever year that is. Solitary Ranger. I bought the first horse for me for okay. her. Okay. So I don't remember when it was, though. Were you pretty much her first trainer when she decided to get into thoroughbreds? No, she came back. She came back and she wanted to get back in the business. She's been in horses a long time. And uh, when she came back, she wanted to get back in the business and told me find her British Cup horse. So we found a couple of horses. I got a long, uh, solitary range and he went to Arlington, Washington for charity and then uh, Obviously, we went to Manny Wong, went to the Breeze Cup the year before last, and here we are now. Yeah, that was a huge weekend she had. It was a great Winning weekend. on the one stake on Friday and then winning again on Sunday. Yeah, it don't get better than that, does it? Winning you in two Breeders' Cups. She's put a lot into this game. and um, She really has. Yeah, she bought that farm, and uh, she bought a lot of horses. She got, you know, she's, she loves the game. She loves the action. Like I said, she's done it before. And just her dad, back she in. was saying, was uh, was a prominent. Yes, yeah. That's her dad's yeah. silks they got now. How gratifying was that with Manny Wa? You know, he's always in the hunt, always in the hunt, but to come through and get one of those signature wins, it put him in the Breeders' Cup. Yeah, you know, it's very special. That's a horse that made it, made it the hard way. I think he's like three quarters of a million now. But uh, he's had some tough luck along the way. He got beat some, you know, pretty tough beats, as we all do, but he's got a bunch of them. And uh, to win that one was great, very gratifying, and, you know, well appreciated and well deserved by the horse. And then you've got Aloha West going in there, and how how tight a line was that trying to get him to the back to the sprint? Well, she got it. Well, uh, hope it all goes well. It'd be one of one of my one of my great feats to get him to the Breeders' Cup on you know short notice. When he show, started showing that he might can make it, and I just kept going day by day and work by work, and here we are. You loved them going into the race last year. It's a little different, I guess, this year. You might still love them, but is it a little harder with no prep and off a long way off? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight, but uh, I'm in good shape. I'm very happy with it right now. When I get the last work in him, the last two works are the two that I really needed to get in him, and we got it done. I mean, we're trying to train in between raindrops and racetracks and trying to get one more in them is it was a little tight and a little worrying or something but uh we got it done we got them in between the raindrops <laughs> that would sound good coming to the wire of the breeders cup huh yes and the winner is now good horse i mean he's uh, coming around he's showed he had talent to start with and uh his last races uh his first race was good and the last couple have been great 